and he was living with us. And uh, he was kind of hard on us because we kind of, you know, we were brats. We were kind of brats. <laughs> did my mother really bad, and my brother was kind of the father figure. Yeah. And uh, you know, he said when he came home, he said, "You guys, are, I'm gonna give you guys a whipping at a certain time," <laughs> and he meant it. <laughs> and it was funny because when we he used to drive a '58 Buick. And when I come home from school, elementary school, I said, I hear from Broadway. Right? Oh my God, my brother's here. Oh, I'm waiting for it. But, you know, aside from that, I mean, my brother, you know, did a lot for us. You know, I mean, we probably needed it because we were pretty bad kids, but after all, and he did become president of NPC. He was the president of NPC. And another story is when uh, I was in Washington, D.C., saw my brother. It's when he was. He was divorced. He was living in an apartment in Alexandria. The place was a shambles. He was an Oscar. <laughs> I found all the cleaning stuff, and I spent one whole day cleaning his apartment because I couldn't handle it. And uh, he said, come on, I want to go to my office. And I guess he was working near the Washington Monument. And I thought he was real busy. I went, he, took me to all, he took me to all his friends, and they were all sitting there reading the Wall Street journals, <laughs> Time magazines. I goes, this is what they do for the government? This is how they work, huh? Nice. Maybe I should get a job working for the government. But all in all, you know, he was a good brother, dedicated, and obviously a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Steve.